Kia ora, good evening. Winston Peters has ramped up the rhetoric against the previous government, comparing its approach to co-governance to Nazi Germany and the Holocaust. The Deputy Prime Minister making the comments in Palmerston North during his State of the Nation speech as New Zealand first leader. Political reporter Amelia Wade was there. It wasn't a warm welcome waiting for Winston Peters. It was a fiery one. Through the doors, a much more polite greeting was courteously waiting. All building to the mother of all welcomes for the ultimate comeback king. I must say it was the most surprising welcome. Uh, we've got over 600 seats here and standing room only. But outside, there's a group shouting out, Winston, go home. The State of the Nation speech was shaping up to be a Peters classic to an adoring crowd. I really love him on TV, watching him, because he's still got a spark in him. And how is Winston Peters doing? Excellent. I used to know a lot about politics, so I just want to see him and say hi to him, because it's yeah. so special. He's my favourite. But then he compared the last Labour government's approach to go governance to the Holocaust. I've seen that sort of philosophy before. I saw it in Nazi Germany. We all did. We've seen it elsewhere around the world in the horrors of history. But here, right in our country, and tolerated by people whose job was to keep the system honest, this happened, where some people's DNA made them better than others. Peters later doubled down. Is that appropriate? Yes, it is. Why? Because that's what it's based on. It's based on racial preference, based on somebody being superior. The Holocaust Centre of New Zealand said Peters should know better. It's offensive to the memory of those who were lost and um, to the trauma that those who, who uh, uh, survived still, still bear. How do you think that'll make our Jewish community feel? Excuse me. Next question. Try as he might, he couldn't dodge the question. How do you think that would make our Jewish community feel? <laughs> well, you're clairvoyant, are you? Well, I think that they would understand entirely what I'm saying. I've seen the taste and the faint of what that looks like in other countries and other eras. That's what I said. Didn't say what the, that question said, because words matter. Peter's also had some controversial words for Te Pāti Māori and the traditional ceremonial attire they wore to be sworn in. They had half of the plumage from the native birds on their head. And they're anti-mining, but they had half the green stone around their chest. Though Peters did make a point about the state of the government's books, agreeing with the Sunday Star Times columnist that there was a $5.6 billion fiscal hole. He's right, but he's wrong when he said politicians last year were warned of that. Because if he's right, then please show me when that warning came. The columnist was making the point that the party's election promises didn't add up. Peters blames the economy. The growth rate is not what we thought it was. That's the real difference. It was a day of real differences, particularly when he compared co-governance to the Holocaust. So, Amelia, what's Labor had to say about those comments? Well, Winston Peters actually went off script today when he made those comments. Media was sent a copy of his speech as he was making it, and absolutely nowhere in it did it contain any, any references to comparing Labor's co-governance to the Holocaust. We have since had a statement from Labour and leader Chris Hipkins says that this was the same old Winston Peters using racism and anti-media rhetoric to divide Aotearoa. He went on to say that as every day passes he feels more vindicated in his decision to rule out working with Winston Peters and that quote, Kiwis deserve more than a Deputy Prime Minister who behaves like a drunk uncle at a wedding. Amelia Wade, Tēnā